former Bill C-10, now Bill C-11, being debated on the House of Commons floor. Um, you know, with this piece of legislation, basically the government is saying that they're just simply updating the Broadcasting Act. That's the line that they love to So use. innocent. So innocent. <laughs> uh, but what they're failing to tell Canadians is actually the Broadcasting Act was created in order to care for radio and television. That's where it was supposed to be applied. That's where it was applied. Um, and the reason for that is because there's a limited number of radio stations. There's a limited number of TV channels. And in order to make sure that French and English both had access to those channels, uh, they determined that they would regulate them. That a certain percentage would be put aside so that French media would be, you know, upheld in this country. Access would be given. To take the Broadcasting Act and apply it to the internet makes absolutely zero sense. The internet is infinite. It's this magical place where if you want a website, you can have a website. If you want to post on YouTube, you can post on YouTube. If you want a TikTok channel, you can start a TikTok channel. Like, it's incredible. Like, imagine the diverse voices that are that are there, that are represented there. In fact, you don't have to imagine. You can just go explore That's it true. yourself. <laughs> it's available. Um, and so we don't need the government to step in and regulate this platform. There's, there's, there's not these limitations placed on us anymore. Really, you know, no matter your ethnicity, no matter your race, no matter your religious background, no matter, uh, you know, the language you speak, if you want access to an online platform, you've got it. And so it's amazing because it's drawing people from all sorts of backgrounds and ways of life and people who maybe wouldn't have other means to promote themselves or, you know, to be picked up by a traditional broadcaster. It gives them an opportunity to find a platform and to be able to curate an audience or pursue an audience, I should say, with curated content. And it's, it's remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable. And digital first creators are doing an amazing job here in our country. We should be celebrating them, not punishing them.